All right, here it is. The, uh, my Pentax reboot, I guess is what I would call it. I got all this in the mail and I'm going to do a quick unboxing and I'm going to talk about why I went back to the K70 a little bit more in detail than I did in my last video. So, as you can see, I wasn't lying. I ordered all this stuff. So, uh, let's start unboxing. I'll start with some stuff that I have not used before. This, I hadn't opened any of that. Well, I opened the K70 because the outside of the box was black, so I just want to make sure I got the right one, and I did. But uh, let's see here. This is the uh, 11 to 18 f2.8 DA Star lens. Get your warranty card and all that stuff, but there's not really anything else in the box. So, this is uh, I sold my I put all my other stuff up for sale if you didn't watch my last video i'll link it below but i've sold four lenses so far i'm doing a reboot refresh kind of getting down to the basics of what i want in my kit so had way too many lenses and uh some stuff i wasn't using i'll talk about the k70 here in a second but here it is actually this actually weighs a little less than i thought it would I've said before, I mean, I never use these bags. I'll probably just sell that bag. But I, I bought uh, a couple of these off of Rico's website. But it's got an A2 millimeter filter thread on here. And it doesn't weigh as much as I thought it would. It's actually not too bad. Let me see here. Can't, uh, I looked up the weight, but let's see what which I think weighs more. The... Yeah, it does weigh, it weighs a little bit more than the 16 to 50 f 2.8 PLM. But uh, there they are side by side, as you can see there. Um, get this right here. Put this back on the camera. I need my glasses. Oh, here we go. There we go. All right. All right, we got this here. Nice metal back, of course. Very nice. Let's move on to the next one. Big, massive hood. Look at that. Wow. I don't know if I need to unbox all this, but the best lens of all time right here. <laughs> I'll compare it to weight compared to that uh, beast right there. And actually, I... Uh, um, I'm going to do some comparison videos on some of these lenses just because I said before this is my favorite lens of all time. It's not, I mean it, optically it's, it's really really awesome but this uh, 16 to 50 is uh, better I can tell you that right now but um, this one's just more of a joy to use so they're both extremely awesome. I mean, they're not that far off, I would say, but I mean, obviously the focal range is a lot different, but just look at that classic, look at that. Kind of got that old school feel to it. Oh man. Oh, and this thing is like lightweight compared to that. <laughs> that 1650. Another bag I'm not going to use, but we'll put this aside. And I'll talk, let's go ahead and talk about uh, a couple of reasons why I switched from the K3 Mark III back to the K70. Uh, and a lot of people might think I'm crazy, but um, when I had the K70, my vlogging videos, I shot probably 80% of my videos were shot with the, the K70. So... Um, it's just a great vlogging camera with the tilty screen, lightweight, and uh, really enjoyed doing that. And I was the one thing that I was wanting from the K70 is for it to have 4K. Well, the K3 Mark III, as you know, has the 4K, but with 4K, the camera overheats. 
and also with the 4K, it's restricted. Uh, most of the other cameras nowadays have the, uh, you know, it runs to the end of the file, then it starts a new file. Well, with Pentax, it hasn't done that. And I was waiting for them to fix that in a firmware. They've released like four firmwares and they hadn't done that. And it also does that with the uh, 1080 60P uh, on that. So all you get is like, you get a couple other different ones, but the one I use is 1080 30P on this one. Look at that beast. Oh, nice. Oh, missed that so much. Look at that. And you got, you got the two knobs here. The, uh, the thing that I did use on, on this uh, one it was this extra knob up here. I switched that to ISO and I had um, uh, this one with with my uh, aperture and then this one with my shutter, or not shutter speed, but uh, I usually shoot in a, uh, AV mode. I, this was exposure compensation. So uh, aperture, exposure compensation, and ISO. That's what I generally had. So with this all, I'm going to do a video on showing you how I actually set this up. Because when I use this, I... I, I Thought of a few different things that I could do with the K70 a little bit better than what I previously was doing. Uh, this one has three user uh, modes, and this one has five, but you, you can do actually more with this. But um, I didn't really use the user mode. I set up one of these in, in the K70. So using this uh, K3 Mark III actually made me think of different ways that I wasn't using the K70, even though I had this for several years, that I could actually make this camera a little bit better. And let me just uh, see here, because a lot of people said there's not a difference weight in the weight. Oh, oh, oh hell yeah, there's a, a ton of difference here. And, and on the specs, it doesn't say that there's a lot, but this is weighs quite a bit more than this. And uh, from the size here, if you can see here, uh, sorry, it's hard to, so it's a little bit smaller, not a beast like that, but uh, yeah. And then, uh, you know, I, I, I probably made the mis not, not a mistake, but since this camera was already heavy and then I got this lens that weighs quite a bit more, I probably should have stuck, just stuck with the 20 to 40, but uh, I was wanting that, uh, wanting the little bit wider 16 millimeters is what on the on the more telephoto end i didn't need that but uh sometimes i need that out of this lens i'm like oh it needs to be a little bit wider because this is uh obviously with the crop factors 30 millimeters on the wide angle side so i'm gonna go ahead and put this on the camera just because this is the best combo in all of history i think right here Check that out. Now it's not really silver like that, so you've got the smoky gray. But uh, man, look at that! It's a nice looking camera, and it performs excellently. Excellently, I shot with this uh, for several, several years. So um, yeah, so that that's just a couple more reasons I didn't talk about the 4K, and I was really excited that this camera had 4K. And since I do some video with all these um, YouTube stuff and uh, it kind of failed in that aspect as far as not uh, overheating and also um, it not uh, making a new file, it, it shuts down after I can't remember how many minutes and they've released several firmwares and they hadn't fixed that. I thought they would, but they wouldn't. So that's another reason that I didn't list in my last video why I kind of wanted to go back to this oh my god it's so light <laughs> the difference here is like night and day craziness right here man i'm looking forward to, i'm going camping so i'm looking forward to getting out there and uh shooting with the k70 i mean it's in you know was it 24 megapixels it's up there i can't remember the exact yeah it's over 20 24 i think so, I mean, it's it's right there. I think the K3 is, what, 26? So, I mean, the, the megapixels aren't that different. And uh, as far as um, ISO performance, this one would be about a stop and a half better, I think. Um, but I might, might compare it. I, I hadn't sold this yet, but it's up for sale. So, uh, oh, I want to show you 
a couple lenses I did keep. And this is one of my last pictures I'm going to take with the K3 Mark III. I shot this today with the, this is one of the lenses I'm keeping because it's awesome, is the Tamron 90mm uh, f2.8 macro lens. Shot this today, so check that out. A little dragonfly in my yard. Kind of cool. And also I kept this, but I'm not sure if I'm going to uh, resell it or not. Uh, I'll have to, I'll, when I open this uh, uh, 300 DA star, we'll, we'll kind of compare the weight, but um, uh, I want to compare these two because I have a, had them kind of separate. So I want to, I'm going to do some comparisons. So stay tuned for those videos. So I'm going to keep this for a little bit. I have a feeling I might end up selling it. I'm going to compare the PLM to, or PLM to the, uh, you know, the, the, the SDM, and uh, we'll, we'll do that video. That uh, should be very interesting. All right, let's go ahead and open that that beast there. I remember it weighing a little bit, but we'll see here. The other thing is, you know, a few months back, I, I, I've got to do, redo all my insurance because I got insurance on all this stuff that I'm selling. So I'm going to wait for it to uh, sell and go through all the process and then insure all this new stuff. I'm sure they'll love me. I like changing out all this stuff at the uh, insurance place, but that's what they get paid for. So, All right. And I remember loving this lens. Now, this... I did have this 300 before, and it the, the SDM did fail on me. I bought it new, and I got it fixed under warranty. But uh, yeah, it's about what I remember. Let's see. Oops. Weighs a little bit more than the 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 11 to 18, but not too bad. That's what I kind of like the the primes like that. Uh, back in my Canon days, the 400 millimeter prime without the. Uh, without the image stabilization didn't weigh that much uh, but if you bought something with image stabilization it weighed more um, obviously Pentax has image stabilization on the sensor so you don't need that but um, this weighs a little bit and uh, that's why I wouldn't buy the 150 to 450 just for me I mean uh, it's it, if you can put it on monopod or whatever I know it would just wear me down so I'm going to take this camping and do some really good shots. Let's compare the weight here. Oh yeah, this one weighs... Not looking at the specs, this one weighs... Two and a half times more than the uh, PLM 55-300. So... Uh, I guess that's about it. Um, thanks for watching and stay tuned for some uh, K70 videos. More of them. <laughs> I've got a ton already. But... Uh, like I said, this is the Pentax reboot, I guess is what I would call it. So thanks for watching. Uh, I'll be going camping. I'll be doing a, a few reviews and kind of comparing some of the stuff that hadn't sold yet. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, and uh, if you want to buy this, I'll put the Facebook group below where I still have some of this stuff up. I'm going to put it on eBay and it will sell a little bit quicker. But uh, I've sold four lenses out of everything I've got listed so far. So thanks for watching. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't.